The purpose of today's video is to uh, talk about printing. Now printing digital prints is not as hard as people make out. If you listen to a lot of people on the web and that, they make out that digital printing is so hard that it's not worth the time and the effort. Well, I'm here to show you that it is pretty straightforward and as long as your requirements aren't sort of A1 exhibition master prints then it is easy to do. First off, um, we need to make sure a couple of things. One is that your screen is calibrated so that what you see on the screen is actually what you get. Now I happen to use the Color Monkey display and this helps me calibrate my screen every month. Now you may or may not be aware that as time goes on the color balance in screens shifts as they age and so this is one of the reasons why we have to continually update the color profiling of our computer screens. It's not as much as it used to be on the old CRT monitors, granted, but it's still there, it is still a factor. I also like using the Color Monkey because I've got mine set up to measure the ambient room light and if there is a change in it, like from going from daylight to tungsten lighting, then it takes that into account and adjusts the screen accordingly. It just takes one more margin for error out of the equation. So, having discussed that, we can now get on to um, talking about actual printing of the image. Now my um, editor and um, digital asset management application of choice is Lightroom. I flick in and out of Lightroom to various plugins and also Photoshop occasionally. But I do the bulk of my work now in Lightroom and that is good enough. And I do the printing from Lightroom as well. So let's have a look and see how this all works, shall we? So the image I'm going to do is an image I shot last week. It wasn't anything special when I first took it, but I quite liked it and thought I would like to print it out. So I edited it and got this, which I'm quite happy with. The next thing is to print it. So I go to File, plug in Extras, and call up Canon Print Studio Pro, which is a little piece of software that came with my printer and it is really useful for um, printing out um, files. It handles it all very nicely and um, I don't really have to get involved with the nuts and bolts of it all. It does a really good job. Epson printers have something similar as well. So, um, you know, I really do recommend using these things. So, on the right hand side of my screen, I have a My Settings area and I click on the pre print settings I make sure I've got my printer selected and my media type. Now I'm going to print on Canson Infinity Photo High Gloss Premium RC. Um, it's not one of the manufacturers, um, it's not one of Canon's um, supported uh, papers so I just set the media type to a generic glossy photo paper. I'm printing on an A4 piece of paper, so I make sure the printer size is that, the paper size is that. The rear tray is my paper source, which is as normal. My print quality is high, which I'm using for this case. Now for color management, I've elected to use an ICC profile. And I downloaded this profile off of Canson's website. So I go and check in here, I see I've got a whole load of list of them on my print 
in my profiles on my computer. So I make sure I've selected the right one here. And what this does, it ensures that my calibrated screen now matches up with the paper. So what I see on the paper should translate. So what I see on the screen should translate to the paper. And apart from that, that's it. All I've got to do is press print. So I get a little dialog box come up, telling me if I don't want to go ahead with it, I can click cancel. It also confirms my settings. So I've got A4 paper size, media type, glossy photo paper, and the color mode used is an ICC profile, and the profile is for the paper I'm using. So I click OK. My printer driver software comes up with its little dialog box, but I don't really have to bother about it. I can just press print. And so now I wait for the printer to spool up and print. And here we are, hot off the inkjet, some two minutes later, one beautiful A4 print. It's as easy as that, folks. So get out there and have some fun making some prints. I hope you enjoyed this. Mm -hmm.